Much has happened in the last few days. Let's go to God together in prayer for these families. <clears throat> Our most loving and gracious God, merciful, kind Father, the one who knows us and still loves us, the one who cares for us even in the midst of times of struggle and turmoil, um, look over us and keep us and protect us. We trust you to do all things well. Father God, for the families that have had losses, the Echoes, Mason, Moore family, Sales family, the Hutchison's, Hutchison's family. Father, on behalf of these families, and there may be others who we're not aware of this morning who've had losses in the last week, we just ask you to be with them and give them strength and give them peace. Give them the peace that passes all understanding as they face this time of challenge and struggle and hurt. We ask you to empower them and mold them and keep them. We pray, Father God, for you to give them strength as you wrap your loving arms of mercy, compassion, and strength around them and build them up when they feel weakened or torn down, but always aware of your presence and your care. We just thank you for what you have done to protect them and bring them this far and ask you to be with them as they anticipate services for the ones who they love. We also come at this time on behalf of our own Brother Hines, who has uh, given so much of his life and his heart for this church and, mm -hmm. and for your kingdom. We ask you to be with him. Uh, pray that uh, as Brother Warren and uh, it's Warren check on him, they have a uh, come back with a healthy report on his behalf. <clears throat> Father, we just pray something simple that is going to subside. Uh, we thank you for his many years of service yeah. to this family. Thank you, Father, for the gift you've allowed him to be for us. And we pray as he uh, goes forward even beyond this day and work in such a capacity that we don't overload him, weigh him down, stress him. Uh, but uh, we want uh, the way he served you to be honored in the way that he has given his life to stand by his side. We thank you at this time for how you're going to answer this prayer on his behalf. We thank you for how you're going to allow recovery for him. And if there are others who have had... Uh, urgent situations. We pray for the Barringer family in light of uh, Sister Barringer's condition. Thank you, Lord, for being with her and pray for her consistent recovery. And there are many others in our family who are, are going through illnesses and, and challenges. We just ask you to be with each one, uh, protect them, strengthen them, and keep them, and bring them back into our services as soon as possible. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. I trust that we continue to pray for him, and not just for him, but there are many others of our family right now who are going through illnesses and sicknesses, and we pray to the benefit of God that he will be with them and keep them safe. Yeah. Has God been good to you this week? Yeah. As alluded to before, we will have, uh, I will do my level best. Pray for me uh, this morning. I'm going to give you, attempt to give you a very uh, reduced lesson as best I can. <laughs> Uh, that we can. Our intention on this morning is to go through our service and to, to be able to uh, uh, even have our service and ordination all done in the time period of a traditional worship service time. I know, I know. Pray out for that. God will guide us. Stop, stop, stop laughing here. Uh, pray out for that. God will guide us and we'll be able to do that today uh, in such a way that you can walk out having a chance not just to be worshipped but also to participate. Understand, church, that we're all a part of a family together. And what happens here is a part of your life, growth, and development. And you need to be a part of things that we do. We talk about ordaining men and women who are going to work, uh, helping to serve you. You ought to know who they are and have an idea of what their function is going to be. Because uh, Hebrews 13 says it's their job to look out for your souls. And, and you ought to know who those folk are and what your talent, your challenge and responsibility is and working with them. So uh, we'll do our part. Amen. Amen. Uh, get you in here and out of here, and also have a chance for you to experience this great opportunity to see uh, us work in this capacity uh, on today. 
But God's been mercifully kind to us. He's blessed us. Uh, we're thankful. We drove all the way to Montgomery for the crusade. And the uh, great work was done uh, in Montgomery. I uh, had a chance to see Brother Anderson. He sends back his love. We send our love to them as he's uh, working with the Southside Church there in Montgomery. Uh, and uh, they're excited about the work. They dropped off about, a, 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 I think, a dump truck load or two dump truck loads of green beans uh, on the yard out there. And, and, and members of the church from all over came together and bagged beans up. And, uh, and this is this is Alabama folk before we actually cook. Uh, <laughs> so they gave out green beans and, and, uh, and the line folk were lined up to get green beans. Say amen. I ain't talking about can now. That, I'm not talking about for those of you who know green beans don't come in a can. They actually come as little shelly. <laughs> But they were blessed to have a chance to be a part of that great mission. Keep the crusade for Christ in your prayers. And God allowed us safe travel there and safe return back. We're thankful for that. Uh, and uh, and I do want you to know, it is still hot in Alabama. So y'all pray for that yeah. down there. But God was mercifully kind and good. You blessed this morning? Yeah. It's God been good to you. Yeah. In light of appreciation for the kindness, merciful grace, and goodness of God, I would invite you to stand. Grab the hand of somebody relatively close to you. Hold your Bible in the other hand. At least know where your Bible is. Tell them, may grace, grace, which is of God's good favor, favor, and peace, peace, which is of God's inner comfort, comfort, may it be with you today, today, from God my Father, Father, and my Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Tell them, this is the Bible. I was what it said I was. I am what it says I am. I will be what it says I will be. And I will be what it says I will be. So I am here. I am here. To be directed. To be directed. Instructed. Instructed. Formed. Formed. And molded. And molded. Into the image of God. Into the image of God. I believe you're here for the same reason. I believe you're here for the same reason. So welcome to the King's Church Church of Christ. Welcome to the King's Church Church of Christ. Well, my God is glorified. Well, my God is glorified. These saints are sanctified. These saints are sanctified. And our lives are changed. And our lives are changed. Give somebody a country spot of beauty and delight.